Yo, yeah, what it could be, hopefully it really should be. It's your boy N A N A O N A R R E. Whatever. I don't even know how to spell it in Spanish. N O R E, what's going on? What up, what up? It's crazy her DJ E F fan in the motherfucker. And this is the Drink Chance Special Edition episode. Make some fun! <laughs> Right now, you know this is a family episode. You know we do this. We bring our close friends, our people around, uh, uh, repeating, being on the show again. Uh, Mr. Lee was a part of the first uh, uh, up, family episode. Say what's up to the people. Come on, Mr. Lee. What up? What up? Como tanto mundo? Dígame. Ah, <laughs> shit. We turned fully Spanish today. It's going no, no, down. No. And we also got, you know what I mean, a legendary New York City icon. Straight on. You know, one of the first people and still that have property in Windwood. You understand what I'm saying? Family is thick like that. We got Thurston Howard in the motherfucking yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. What's good? What's good? What's good, man? So, Thurston Howard, where are you originally from? Brooklyn, right? I'm from Brownsville, bro. Brownsville, baby. damn. Brownsville. Brownsville. Is Brownsville. Different from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, when yeah. you're from Brownsville. Yeah, so you don't call it Brooklyn? You, know, people you call it Brooklyn, but right. the rest of the Brooklyn don't come to Brownsville. Mm. That's how Brownsville is, like, if you ain't know. Brownsville was over town in Miami, mm. like that. Okay. So, you know? Mm. You saw Empire, Shorty was from Brownsville. Mm. Know what I mean? And, and you equal parts Wynwood, too. Of course, my family's here. I, I think here. you're the, the longest, like the oldest Wynwood yeah. resident at this point right now. Your, your Graham's crib is legendary. Yeah, right. you already know. We right in the smack right. in the middle of everything right now. They knocking right. on the door every day making offers, but you know, we right. grounded, man. My whole family's here. That's the main reason I'm here, because mm. my family is super, super deep in mm. Miami and Wynwood and all that. Okay, let's make some noise for that, goddamn. Yeah. yeah. And we also got Drunk Twin, Carol Cool Twin. Come on, come save us up to them. <laughs> Say what's up to What's going on, peoples? How you doing? This twin, you already know. DC twin on Instagram. Born twin, born to win. Trying to sound sexy? Mm. Now, twin, there's a, there's a rumor that Snoop said, you, Snoop came to you during um, last episode, and he came to you and he said, you are going to be somebody. Is this true? I don't know if I was He said you're going to be somebody? Wait, wait. You're going to beat somebody. Did somebody here. witness this, or this is just twin He's story? He's making shit up. Uh, I saw him pass him the blunt. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't mean wait, wait, shit. It's still swirl, my brother. <laughs> what did he say? He was going to beat somebody or he was going to beat somebody? No, he was going to beat somebody. That you're going to beat up somebody? No, like, 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 like B. Like B. Why would he tell you that? Nah, I mean, because... I feel like Sam brought up the fight. He's like, yo, Twin King won to Vegas with $80. So this nigga, this nigga looked at me like, yo, this nigga made it happen or some shit. I don't know. That's, that's he just looked at me. Know. He's like, yo, he just passed me the blood and... It was a moment for me, man, because I saw this man on TV, so it was just, it's crazy. It's like dreams turn into reality, you know what I'm saying? For the world that's just listening <laughs> and couldn't understand this young nigga language, he just said he went to Vegas for three days with $80, right. and he's here to survive the story because he made it. God damn it. Make some noise. Yeah. I got laid for free. And you got laid for free. He went to Vegas for $80. You, you didn't want to do that. We stayed no, out there three days. Uh, how, how many days we stayed out there? Eight, three days? Three days. Three days. Three days? So how did you eat besides eating pussy? How did you eat, Twins? Mm. It was from my cousin Mike, man. I don't know what the fuck I would have done. Oh, y'all was eating pussy together? You and your cousin Mike? <laughs> 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 what happened? I was not involved. What the fuck are these boxes? Oh, oh, we got boxes coming in. Look, look, look. <laughs> By the way, we at Hazardous Sound Studio. What's the name of your studio, Hazardous Sound? Hazmat Studio. Hazmat Studio. So Thurston Howard, man. Um, <coughs> How the hell did this polo we get? First off, low lives. Let's get into that. The legendary low lives. Legendary low lives. Well, you already and the know, infamous man. low lives as well. Right. Well, it's all the same, man. Poor motherfuckers, nothing. Right. Nobody giving you shit. Mm. Everybody, moms and pops, is on drugs. We all live in the projects. Mm. And, you know, for me, it's like when you're from Brooklyn and Brownsville and all that, right. niggas rank. You know, mm. like, you know what ranking is, right? right. Niggas yeah, tell yeah, joke. Yeah. Right. Motherfuckers got fly because they got tired of being ranked on. Mm. Like, I'm a ranking ass nigga. That's how my battle raps and punchlines and all that come together mm. from ranking. So that's wh that's how Low Lives was born. Niggas mm. ain't want to hear that shit. Mm. You ain't going to come in my crib, laugh at my crib, laugh at what yeah. I got on. Right. My man's was the same way. You know, that's how a lot of shit got built because the jokes was really the truth. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's you're, real you're one shit. of the founding members? 
One of the founding members I'm the originator of the name I'm one of the enforcers Low Yes, I'm wow. the originator of the name Low Life wow. You know what I mean? I, I was the first po- person to be called the Low Life And wow. say, yeah, we Low Lifes We wear low every day That's what we do uh-huh. And I'm the nigga who helped enforce money, hoes, and clothes And mm. taking it Nigga, you supposed to take it Like, mm. fuck all that You buying your shit and all that Niggas wasn't trying to hear that When you bought your shit Niggas right. laughed at you Mm. Cause niggas was taking it, man, and this right. some Browns with shit. It's not a game. Right. It's not a joke. Right. What, you know what, what I mean? year y'all started? Low Life's formed in 1988, but our history was way before 1988. We was mm. doing this since like 1983 and stuff like that. Before we got together in '88, like like I said, we all came from graffiti writers and break dancers and all that. So even in graffiti, we stole 300 cans of spray paint when we get, went to, say, to hit the layup. What, was it, did it start as a boosting crew? <clears throat> no, it started right. as a punch of. Poor motherfuckers who stole. I never right. called myself a booster. I'm a thief. Uh, I let's took. make some noise for thieves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, I went with all the boosters, and I'm right. the first nigga. You know, you gonna give me some free items because I'm gonna keep everybody off your back. Right. You know what I mean? It was it was it was way more than boosting, man. It was right. about just it was griminess all together, man. Now, did the low lives come before the Decepticons and, and the Autobots? We came about the same time because we all came from the same places, right. you know. And we no, all was family. Family. No, no, the right. Like Decepts is my family. I grew mm. up with the Decepts. A lot of Decepts was in my projects with me. Right. Sean P hung out with me Price, before right. we became low lives right. and Decepts and Rest all that. Like, Sean Price. That's yeah, right. you know that was all, always our. Family, a lot of people thought like we were rivals and shit like that. That's bullshit. Mm. We used to get money together. We used to do grime together and all that. But a lot of the low lifes and decepts who had conflict were motherfuckers who were the little dudes and people who they know the founders and all that. The motherfuckers riding the trains because you know how the subway system is in New York. It's right. a whole nother world. That's right. If you right. ride the subway. You gonna run into everybody from all over New York, like the and Warriors the, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Ex- it was exactly <laughs> like the motherfucking Warriors, and that's where you saw how you was built, mm. because niggas was gonna test you from everywhere, mm. especially fucking with them Brooklyn trains, that three train, that A train, them sh- them trains were serious. It's how you not think about game. Brooklyn right now? It's totally different. It's not totally different. No, it's not. They gentrifying right. the shit out of well, they, they gentrify. Yo, I even, Brand, that word. even Brownsville yeah. is getting gentrified right Get out now. of here. Damn, that's crazy. Yo, I be, you know, I go all the time. I stay in Brownsville. Right. I was going to the Planet Fitness in Brownsville. Mm. Mad white people in Planet yeah. Fitness in wow. Brownsville. I'm wow. on picking that. Mad yeah. white people. Yeah. I go to Tilden Projects. I see Chinese families coming right. out the projects. <laughs> Right. They yeah, even I mean, redid the entire train station. Do, That's do you, how you know, do you know twin? The Caracol twin. You know what Caracol is? It's fake lean. Come on, <laughs> come on, say. <laughs> that. Oh, they got a fake, fake lean. I can't yeah, afford yeah. To act. Man. Right. Two chain said it clearly. They discontinued it because mm. higher level of artists started using this. And uh, so you know, like Justin Bieber. Talking to the mic. Talking to the mic. Um. So long story short, I can't sound all smooth. No, I can't afford act. It's a fact. Did you admit to give Billy D. Williams thing? Come on, man. Character. When when you can't afford it, that's when you take it. You know what I mean? That's it. Don't have it in the streets. It's everywhere. Discontinued it like word. Right, yeah. No, they ain't just the two chains got a whole bunch. Yeah, of I that never shit. heard of no fake lean. I never Yo, drank no so lean. Mr. Lee, like man, um, tell us what you got going on with Star Rock, man. Star, what, what you got, man? Yo, you, mean, listen, it, let me just be clear, man. Mr. Lee is my. This, he's my family. Do you see? Do you follow him on Instagram? I just started recently. Oh my God, he has the Ellis Boat parties. The nigga invite me to everything. Else. That's your blood family. Hey, your blood family. family. Your blood family. family. I, I know you. I knew you were from Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Nah, I, you know what I, mean, I try to call people, but sometimes when you got, when you try to call nobody. Oh, that might never get the I try to call people. When you got too many girls, you want to be selfish sometimes. You know. Yo, but you got the pool parties going on. Tell the people what you got going on in Miami. I got the pool parties. I got the excited car. The mm. booking if you want to book Nori, Drink mm. Champs, mm. Kiss, DMX. Right, right. mm. And now Thurston House. And now Thurston House. Yeah, let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise.
No police bookings. Yeah, yeah, Just no, bookings. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no police Lee, bookings. Mr. Lee is a money man. Mr. You Lee know, I'm a, a hustler, man. baby. You right. know, that's what we do. And you have yeah. the Star Rock clothing. Shout that out. I got the Star Rock clothing, too. The Star Rock clothing.com. You know, you can find those special, special specialitos. Mm. Regalitos. You know this what I mean? Is, this is Drake's chance, chance motherfucker. <laughs> um, now, you know, we got to ask every question, this, everybody, this question. Do you yeah. need to ask Thurston? Uh, I heard, I heard uh, this show. You know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Listen, 50 asked everybody before we asked him. I'm gonna be real, like yeah. right. Fifty took ass eating no ass. Yo, yeah, yeah. I don't really be eating no ass. I don't be really eating no pussy. But I'm, a, oh, I'm hold up, hold up. But I'm a master when it has to go down. Right. You know what I mean? So you, yeah, you still gotta eat some pussy I'm a, sometimes. Yeah, let me tell you something. Be a master. Just, I'm a master. Just, did, I'm a master okay, when right. it comes. Right now, like right. I did whatever I had to do on my come up, but then I, I stopped. Cause right. if you don't deserve it, you don't, you don't deserve it. it. Right. If you don't do nothing yeah, to true. impress that's me, true. I ain't got to impress you. Yeah, Cause let me tell I, get, you. I get busy slinging along. Let me tell you something. My grandfather, he never had the birds and the bees conversation with me. The first conversation my grandfather had with me, he's like, "Hey, Bobby, how you doing? You you growing up? You eating pussy yet?" I'm like, "Well, I'm 14." Like, what? What the fuck? Like, it's my grandfather. Like, it's, so it's, it's a Puerto Rican. That's a Puerto Rican, 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 Rican tradition. You know what I'm saying? So, real. I'm gonna tell you some right. crazy shit. Right. When I first ate pussy, right? Mm. Let's know, get into hold it. On, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be real. This is real <laughs> shit. Uh-huh. You know, I did biz early, like you know, early in the game and all that. Uh-huh. And every time I went to jail, niggas That's in jail will gas me up about <laughs> right. something else. Right. So okay. I remember I went, I did a bit at 16. When I went home, niggas had me Spark gas it? about eating pussy. Nah, Rikers uh-huh. Island, 16. Okay. Spawfit is when when you yeah. were four or 16, well, that's right? right? That's right. That's so right. niggas like, yo, you ain't never ate, I never eat no pussy. I'm in right. jail with all these niggas telling me all right. these pussy eating stories. Right. And the craziest <laughs> shit, right? I was in the bing with my man from Bad Star, right? So uh-huh. we used to be Next to each other Telling me Yo call this bitch for me When you get on the phone So I call the bitch He hooked me up With a bitch from the bing Right Uh, The bitch name was Trife Right (laughs) It's crazy This was the first bitch I ever The bitch was from Best Stop You gotta be If a a girl named Trife She's from Brooklyn Make some noise Make some noise but yo, the first day I got home from that bit, I ate that bitch pussy. Cause that bitch was there with me. Wait up, wait up. You a legend. Hold on. He ate a bitch pussy named Trice. Trice. Yeah, yeah. From Brooklyn. From Make some noise him still being alive. Yeah, yeah. Still alive. yeah. yeah. It's real, and I, I gotta salute my man for hooking me up with that bitch because I still fuck oh, with I that bitch. He was in the room. I, hold on, no, I, I still fuck. Deep. I can right. still fuck with that bitch to today. What? That's real. Oh, that's gangster. So she's still alive. She's still alive. <laughs> so, so twin, twin, let me ask you a question, real quick, twin. Go ahead, go ahead. How many bitches um, named Trife you ate they pussy as well? And you can still fuck them to this day. And none of them named Trife, but both of them started with an M, and you know who you are. <laughs> What? Uh, we don't, we don't we know who. started with an M, man. You know who you are, bitch. I ain't gonna shout you out. You feel me? Big up. Yo, all right, Michelle, you know what's good. Oh. Oh. Man, there's a lot of Michelles. You feel me? We in Miami, Miami my nigga. Yo, don't worry about it. And Melissa, you know what time yeah, he, it is. He's talking Melissa. that mic like it's Michelle right now. Yeah. 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 He's about to cock the mic right now. But I popped a cherry, you know what I'm saying? So... You feel me? At the taco spot. Swim me fucking with high school chicks. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? I just graduated. I'm about to go somewhere with I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, at the taco spot. I remember that. The taco spot. Let me ask you something His real quick. His chick was with oh, ex chick was with somebody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. at the taco spot. You, you saw your ex chick with another nigga, right? How did this go down? How did it feel? In your, in your inside. I felt great. Felt great. You look yeah. befuddled. You, you looked a little befuddled, brother. <laughs> yeah. You looked a little jealous too. Yeah. Nah, I didn't. Nah. Yeah, nah. Uh, let's keep it one hundred percent. I didn't. Nah, word. It was dope. Stop I mean, lying, B. Yo, she got fat, my nigga. Word up, like I'm good on that, son. I was. Yo, her man was nigga, that, Hold down, on, like, niggas don't eat fat pussy yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Fat pussy we ain't never been able to speak about this on the drink chat before. Niggas be eating fat pussy. Is fat pussy is fat pussy hard? No, nigga, I don't eat no fat pussy. I ain't in a fat girl. But niggas, niggas be eating fat pussy. No, Eddie Giggs. Cause Eddie, they fuck Eddie, fat pussy. Eddie, Same Eddie thing. Gigs is three hundred plus. That's mm-hmm. all he deals with. Mm-hmm. What's Eddie Gigs? So, um, how about the other dude at the taco spot, Twin? You got beef with him? No, what I happened? don't. Yeah, I have you no beef with nobody, with son. He just—he was DJ. Homie knew who who I was with. You Your know girl what I'm was saying? with so the DJ. Mm-hmm. Word, yeah. <laughs> she was with I mean, the DJ. She's not my girl, my nigga. <laughs> mm. you know what I'm saying, but. She was with the homie. Homie was a DJ. He knew I was someone important. You know. What and I mean? he was the DJ at the taco spot. Nah, he was a high school. Nah, he was a DJ. He was a high school DJ. She was the DJ at the taco spot. Nah, yeah. man, no, she, no. Her she, man, she, her she, man. He's a taco <laughs> DJ. Nah, her man was a DJ. Let's just give it hundred percent. He's a taco DJ. That's nah, the truth. No, 
You no, want him to be the taco DJ? He wasn't the taco nah, DJ. Nah, no. He was just there. They were just there, you know, family, whatever. I look back, I thought I saw a ghost, you know what I mean? Because I saw a familiar face, dog. Shorty got big, you know what I mean? I, I don't <laughs> remember her. No, word. You're I don't put it on her. No, fam. I don't remember her that big, so I was What's like. What's her name again? Yo, I would never. She gained like five and a half pounds, and he said she got sued, my nigga, before I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. I don't know. I ain't gonna get sued. I can't get sued. We went to Vegas for $80, bro. Let's be real. Nah, let me make this clear. I went to Vegas with 200, my nigga. Hold up. And my last night. My last night. So my second day, I had I spent like 120 my first day, so I had 80 I left. Don't know. Uh-huh. So my second day, I had two dollars till I met this hooker, my nigga. And wow, you, you know you what I'm boy, saying? And she hooked it up, my nigga. Your story uh, sound much better than it sounds no, in it's Vegas. No, Yo, she I'll gave tell me you money. That, buddy. That's a fact. In she, Vegas, it was real. She gave me money. So you was no, giving no, niggas no, that no, puppy eye. You just say, you know, I met a hooker. That sounds like where he spent his money. Not made no money. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> nah, she gave him the she gave him the monster for free. She gave him the monster for free. Oh shit! We good, you know? Nah, I mean, that went from two hundred to eighty. So. Quick, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. We, it was quick. We went to the crawfish spot. I see to that crossfit? nigga. Crossfit? You went to crossfit? It was a crawfish spot. <laughs> that shit was good uh, as fuck. Yeah, you I, didn't invite motherfuckers. I know. I, we just went on the spare of the moment. And Karam came with us. That nigga, that nigga Twitter. I kept looking at that nigga. Saying. <laughs> Mike looked at them, they got each other, but <laughs> I didn't see you pull out no money. <laughs> it was time to build a bill. What happened, Twin? The, the, the crime in my eyes need to know. know. And Mike looking right at you, waiting for you to lie. <laughs> yo, he looking, yo, them fish is mad big, son. Well, yeah. No, that's not what he had. I don't know what happened when the bill came. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, don't, know you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I, I put, hold up. My cousin Mike spotted me. Well, let know? me just ask Mike you knows this. what happened. Mike what knows what happened. What is in your mind when you're saying, I'm going to another state? And two hundred dollars can hold me down, like for three days. What is in your mind? I'm there to witness history. That's what is in my mind. That was a great fucking answer, man. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. That's a great. Answer. I gotta Make leave you alone on that note, man. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> What's your shit again? Follow this. Shout it out. DC two W I N. You like the young girls, right? How old? DC are you? twenty. I'm twenty two, man. Twenty two. So if you eighteen yeah. and up, going on fuck it. Mm, that's Look crazy. At that nigga, he mass. Let's throw, let's throw that out there. He's like groceries, let's baby. Twenty sixteen. We established that on wow. the last episode. Has what's going on with you, man? We in your studio, man. You trying new to new studio? Yeah. Chilling, bro. Your new studio. Everything's great. Shout you know out to Rich saying? Blanco too on the camera. Rich, that's right. Big Rich drain Blanco. on the camera. Gang, Big drain on Hazmat the camera. Studios. You know what I'm saying? Now open for business. So make sure you holler at your boy. Wait, say that again. Hazmat Studios now open for business. Mm, how many people records you mix? How many people? You oh know, man, I mix records for everybody mm. from so, Nori to mm. Little Wayne to mm. Rick Ross, mm. Frank Sinatra. Um, mm. Fucking Pusha T, Meek oh, Mill, mm. yeah, yeah. Macy mm. Gray. Mm. God damn it. Fucking keep going. Cormega, working, MOP, man. Gunplay. Wow. You know, everybody, wow. man. And let me also, let me big up DJ Butch Rock, too. You know what I'm saying? Held it down on Hot 97 this past Thursday that just passed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I held it I held it down. And um, uh, he was in New York, and he did the live mix. You know what I'm saying? So big up DJ Butch Rock, man. I think his Instagram is ButchRock718. You know, follow the dog. And he also was on the podcast. And um, uh, also, Shout out you know, DJ KNS in the house. DJ KNS, man, word, definitely, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. DJ KNS, yeah, a lot of, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Rich Blanco's in the building. Uh, who else we said? Uh, oh, that's right, Drain. We got to pick up Drain. Drain's been taking all the pictures. He takes amazing pictures. Taking amazing pictures for you know, um, and Rich Blanco. Uh, we're not like other podcasts where you know these guys go out and they hire interns. Uh, we got we got our same people that that comes with us. This is a uh, yeah. We put all gang. the pressure on Rich. This is a gang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's top photographer and uh, top videographer, and then the other one, um, Drain, is a top photographer. Did I just speak smart? Did I say you, you went corporate videographer right now. You got and corporate. photographer? You got God damn, corporate. make some noise for me trying to make sense. God damn it. <laughs> Resource rules, <laughs> niggas, is coming up, baby. No, Thurs, yeah. You got low life gear yeah. for us? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. I know you got something for us. So let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Yeah. If I wear polo from head to toe, well, could another low life come up to me and be like, "Is you low life?" And like, how, nah, how, nigg- how, niggas will ask you. They will ask you. How, what, what would that statement be like? I mean, first they gonna ask you if you say, "Yeah, I'm low life." They gonna right. ask you where you get your L's from. Mm. Like who? That mean you like down? who? But it gotta be classic shit. It can't just like, be regular. Nah, nah. 
Yo, let right. me tell you this crazy shit. Right. Because do you wear mad polo? low lives? You wear new polo? There's mad low lives who never wore a polo. And you told me originally Whoa. it wasn't about polo. You told me that one. It time. was about the grime, son. It was about the survival. It was about, you know, it was about the evolution of fashion. We started with everything from the sheepskins to the Adidas suits, Puma suits, Benetton, Isaac. How did you get to the polo? We're just y'all low It lives. was the evolution. Polo was the nigga when we got there. He was becoming seasonal. I never saw a brand be seasonal where... What do you mean by that? Seasonal where they came out every season. When mm. it was time for summer, they had summer shit. When it was time for us fall, they had fall shit. When it was time to be in the snow, they had the shit for the snow. Polo was the first brand I ever saw seasonal. That's probably why he mm. we dominated him because he came so much with mm. it. Not like the other brands. You know, Adidas was coming out and here. Guess and Guess was there. hot back then, right? Ge- guess? Nigga, I'm rocking Guess right now. Yeah. Where, where that, you guess from, man? Guess bro. yours. Guess, 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 they got mad Guess stores oh, out here man. still. Got you just got to seek it out. The yeah. triangle is nigga. bad. Yeah. It's back, hard body. I always dress my kids in Guess. That was some guess Brooklyn Albee Square Mall shit, right? Yeah, niggas don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be square more. I got my truth. first fronts from um I'll be square more. Yeah, that's, um, that's they was crazy. frames. That's crazy. My first fronts. Where is yeah, more? I'll be square more. And you know what? You couldn't go on I'll be square more before right. and buy fronts because niggas right. gonna take them out your mouth. I ain't gonna front. Nigga got nigga, yeah. nigga, nigga got robbed right in front of me. Nigga I was a young nigga you. though. Like I was like eleven. Like niggas ain't wanna rob me. Wow. Niggas thought wow. about it. I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I seen a nigga get robbed right in front of me. I'll be square more. Let's make some noise for that. Yo, a lot, a lot of artists like Biz Markie, Kane, and all that. Let me show love to my family. Family out in Fort Green, my family out yep. in Farragut. I know, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. Definitely big y'all up. That's the Lou Rose in, in yeah. Fort Green, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I rocked with everybody over there. Farragut. Wasn't the real Supreme Magnetic from there? Um, he he hung in right. Fort Green with Eric right. B and 50 and right. all that. And, and the original 50. And, hold up. Right. He was Puerto Rican. Give him some love uh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Because right. niggas used to confuse us like crazy. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, and I used to get in shit because I'm him. All it's right. like I used to get in shit because niggas thought I was Fuji when we right. in jail. It was like every right. Puerto Rican nigga that came from a black neighborhood that right. really represented on some live Puerto Rican shit, right. they all got confused for the other one from over there because right. everybody thought everybody <laughs> was everybody. Everybody was Jose? Right. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, like but son was the truth. Supreme mm. was the truth. He got involved in the music. And he's he alive still. He's, he's alive he's, still. Wow. He's doing his thing. He's on the low, but he's doing his thing. Well, I'm interested in his movie, man. Just, and just and he's he's, he, he's on the back of the Paid in Full album cover. Oh shit! Right. He's the Puerto Rican nigga right there with all the jewels well, on. Supreme and all Magnetic. That is. This is N O R E, and I've always been interested in your life story. I don't know if that's something you're interested in doing, but I would love. To uh, be behind that biopic, yeah, Prima is the truth. Same, yeah. same, right. same, like Jesus from Cyprus. You know what I mean? A lot mm. of people don't know about Jesus. Right. You know, Jesus rocked with the A team. He rocked with Pig and Drac. Who's, and this? All Who's that. Jesus? Because remember, we, Jesus I'm from was Miami. like I don't know Jesus was like a notorious drug dealer and all that, but. He was from the A team. People who don't know, like there was so many cliques back in the '80s and all that that really terrorized shit and Cypress Hills projects and all that was another one Not of those projects. Not to be confused projects. with Cypress from the West. Right. Not at all. Because it was Matter back fact, then. People were confused. Yeah, right. because yeah. nobody ever heard of a Cypress exactly. in L.A. Because yeah, right. the Cypress from New York made so much fucking noise right. and right. they terrorized shit, especially in the clubs of New York City and all that. Right. So Jesus was my son's name is Jesus. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. I always saw Jesus from Cypress as a Puerto Rican. I could look up to and respect because. He laid foundation for Puerto Ricans to be respected. So mm. niggas know when you know, regardless of who we dealing with, you gonna respect the motherfucking Puerto Rican. Make you know some noise I mean? for the Puerto Ricans. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. Make some noise for the Puerto Ricans. God damn it. Look at my cousin back there. That's right, baby. Carlito, come shout out to Twitter, man. Tell him, tell him you was playing when you said fifteen. Come on. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Straighten that shit out. Carlito, yeah. yeah. I fucked up when I said fifteen, yeah, but yeah. I do it as it yeah, don't you matter. Fucked up. Yeah. Shout out to Shout out to Shout out to your grass. Shout out to your grass people Carlito, uh, three O's, yeah, underscore, uh, right. O four. I knew him since his mother used to not let him come outside the house. It's a fact. Wow, wow. God damn it, man. Yeah, I was you know telling I, mean? I was telling Nori, y'all have more in common than you, than he knows. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. And one of the things is that um right. so when N O was locked up and you went to school, right? Yes, when you yes, was locked sir. up. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. you was doing program. I don't know if you went to school. I don't remember. I went quite. to school like crazy in prison. Right. Okay, so you and but you did the program, the, the MTV program, the thing that got I mean, you into MTV. A, a lot of the programs that I came from after I mean 
Do, do yeah, you MTV and your jail? Nah, nah. What jail nah, is this? Nah, nah, nah. Check he, it out. He's gonna want to get locked up. He was up. able to work at MTV <laughs> through a jail <laughs> program. Niggas yeah. didn't want to deal right now. Like, what jail is that? I'm going in and get locked nah, up. Nah, I think this is a crazy story, man. Yo, I mean, you know, when when I when I did my bids and all that, my last bid. You know, I, I really took advantage of all the vocational and technical programs that mm. prison had to offer you. Mm. I was in this one facility called Ulster, Ulster Facility. Mm. You know what I mean? Now, Ulster after, County? Yeah, Ulster County. Okay. You know, that was the like the state, reception. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the reception yeah. setting you up north. Yeah, yeah. But when I got to Ogdensburg and things like that, they had so many I programs. I don't know. Ogdensburg was five yeah. minutes from Canada. You could see the okay. bridge oh, in Canada. So, you okay. know what I mean? You could see Riverview yeah, Prison across the a street. Canadian squirrel. Like, you know, I've been back and forth right. between both of these prisons, but... The main thing is that I took advantage of the vocational and technical programs that they had there. I learned small engine repair, business repair, custodial maintenance, uh, general business, all these things that I got certified in. Before that, I dropped out of school in junior high school in Brownsville in 275. You know what mm. I mean? Junior high school, 275 in Brownsville when I stopped going to school. So now... Coming home from all that, I got put on a work release program after like a couple of years, right? I, I was eligible for that. I was trying to behave and How all that. How long was so your bid, though, at that My point? bid was like a two to four, but I wound up, I wound up doing the whole motherfucking four. Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Max it's a, out. Yeah, it's Something went shit. wrong in the middle right. of that. <laughs> Ain't nothing go wrong. I was doing what I had to do. But right. in that same sense... When when I went to the work release program, which I got transferred out on the riots and shit like that. When right. riots would go down, they take out whoever got influence in jail, and they're going to send you all over. So right. a nigga went to work release. Mm. I, for real? All right. Because my shit was pretty clean. They just shipped me out for, for whatever my influence is, but I'm still clean. Y'all not catching me doing shit. Right. So now when I get in today, I'm putting all these alternative to violence programs and all that. And this one program I was put in called the America I Can Foundation for Social Change, mm. which was the Jim Brown program. The Jim Brown, the Football Hall of yep, Famer, yep. it was his program that taught all these uh, ex gang members and drug on abusers Coast, and all right? on the straight on the West Coast. So I was the first class to really be put in this program, and I graduated the class mm. while I was on work release, in the work release facility, mm. you know what I mean? So when I graduated the class, on my graduation day, they asked me to become the facilitator and teach the class to the rest of the work release inmates, you know mm. what I mean? And at this same time when all this was happening, I went to the parole board and got hit with two years all at the same time. Damn. So the fact that I had this job and all that, I was able to remain on work release for the rest of the two years that I had to go when I got hit. Mm. And from there, I got a job at MTV. All, all How do you get things, a job at MTV when you... When you through the America I Can Foundation oh, for so Social they, Change. Oh, they facilitated that. They right. facilitated, but I participated to an extent that people were offering me things, trying to help me change my life and to put me on a different path. And that shit worked So how like do they convince MTV... That you're the guy that needs to work there. <laughs> um, the way that they convinced MTV, where they they said, "Listen, MTV is willing to help somebody, but you gotta come work for free." What's the opening? The job opening? What is it? Work for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. No yeah. problem. We have openings for work for free. Crazy, crazy, crazy shit. shit. Yeah. Crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm fresh out of jail. I'm cock diesel like a motherfucker. My first day, they take me to the MTV Beach House in the Hamptons. Oh, wow. No, no it wasn't in the Hamptons. The Beach in House. In the Hamptons. It wasn't in the Jersey one? In the oh, Hamptons. Okay, right, Come on, I'm telling the <laughs> story. <laughs> I was, I, my memory right, is sharp no as a in, Jersey, in the Hamptons. Like, okay. you know, I go someplace to meet them, 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. I'm sitting there quiet as a motherfucker. All these people come in. The first thing I knew was not to tell nobody shit about me. Shut the fuck up. Do whatever they wanted me to do. You know what I mean? But I'm in the Hamptons. First day, beach house popping. All this shit going on. All I'm trying to do is do a good job so they could ask me to come back another day. Okay. And that shit turned into 10 years. Wow. Wow. At MTV? At MTV. Make some noise for that Fresh out of jail. Fresh out of jail. Wow. The, and the biggest thing was 
I shut the fuck up. I ain't tell nobody about me. I just did uh, what I had to do. But and did, I but never wore no polo know? to work. But did the crew know? <laughs> Everybody knew what I did. I'm right. still living in Brownsville. I'm, right. I'm driving the cube truck home with all the equipment. Oh, and niggas go, yo, yo, that's my truck. I'm touch my fucking truck. <laughs> Don't write on my truck. I'm letting niggas know right. everything. Yeah, niggas going to bomb your truck when you come out at night. Mm. Graffiti all over that shit and that's all that. Right. And this is before that that most deaf, the, the whole... Uh, Rock, Rock, before Rock, the Lyricist Lounge no, shit. No, no, but there was the show. The sh- what was the show? The Lyricist, Lyricist Lounge show. Lyricist, okay, yeah. This, is, this was... Mad years before that. Actually, when I did the Lyricist Lounge show was when I quit MTV and I started pursuing my own route and all that. And then I got picked up to do the Lyricist Lounge show, so I was brought back to MTV. As a writer, as a producer? As a writer and a cast member. And I seen Nori smoke two blunts by himself and ain't passed nothing. <laughs> nah, <laughs> self He's calling He called yeah. yeah. people self. Is that petty? Is that petty? Yeah. Is that nah, petty? Is that that's petty? my style when I do an interview, man. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, a, I get, a, I get a special pass when I got a mic in front of me. Pause. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is crazy, man. Like I said, man, we always like to get together, man. Thurston, you are, you a legend, man. Um, you too. What, what, what made you move to Miami? Like, what, what, what was? The nah, point? I've been, I've been here all my life too, man. My, my father wow. died. Right, God bless. My father died in 1974. God bless. And um, when my father died, my grandparents left New York City and came to Miami. Mm. So I was able to come back and forth my entire life because mm. of that. So the same exact house that you come to in Wynwood is Wynwood, where I went. Yeah. I went right. to Robert E. Lee Junior High School Ooh, here. Robert e. Lee. I went to uh, Buena Vista Public School. Like shit, I came oh, back wow. and forth. Yo, I fought most of the most notorious niggas from Winwood. I uh, growing folks. up and shit like that. You uh, know what I mean? To, to st- not only that, my, my family is really here established. Cause, cause, like, cause that that neighborhood used to be like. Baby Puerto Rico, they yeah, just yeah, yeah. Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico New York, New York, New York. Yeah. Yeah. I lived on the same Shout block as Roth. Roberto Clemente Park. I lived wow. on 34th Street. Damn. Not only that, when my father died, my brother, who is the junior to my father, the, the, you know, right. my grandparents took him and he'd been here his entire life. So wow. if you saw my brother, you think you looking at me. Me and the nigga look like twins. You, so you everybody guys are opposites, like, right? Yeah, I'm New York. That nigga straight he was Miami. Miami. I'm straight New York. You know what right. I mean? But, yo, we look exactly the same. We look like twins. Was there any interaction with Raw? DJ Raw? You know those dudes? Nah, no. I mean, Wimble. in the 90s, I was bid in the whole 90s oh, okay. and all that. So I wasn't back in Miami for none of that. Mm. No Calle Ocho. No her style. No, I, I do Calle Ocho hard right now. Now, now yes. back then. We talking mm. about back then. Nah, Calle Ocho is a special thing. Calle Ocho is we gotta, we beautiful. We got to do a Drink Champs Calle Ocho. Nah, something. you got to do, sure. 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 do that. You got to do that. You got to do that. The walking is horrible. No, we don't walk. We, we don't, don't walk. walk. We got to walk. We got to walk. You got to walk. Listen. got to walk to Calle Ocho. The Puerto Rican Day Parade. They're going to have a golf cart for us. Listen, you got to walk to the golf cart. It's some type of walking, my nigga. Oh, my God. Like, you've been inviting me to the Puerto they parade I've been like yo my nigga I don't even go no more man <laughs> yeah, cause they, yeah. they trap you in a circle you can't go beyond yeah. certain blocks so it gets corny now you oh, know yeah, what I mean yeah. if you're not on the live block you stuck and your phone gets shut off they, they block oh, everybody's yeah, they, phone they now, that now mm. all the time. hard Every body you can't call off. nobody you can't do none yeah. of that when you're oh, at the parade <sighs> Oh, you're talking about the Puerto Rican Day Parade. In, in New York, York. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking Cayocho. Oh, I'm thinking Cayocho. Yeah, Cayocho is every... Too? You know Cayocho? what Cayocho remind me of? The Labor Day Parade in New York, because it's every flag <laughs> Why involved. Why everything got to go back to New York, man? Dude, yeah. Because that's what... Everybody's from New York. right here, right now. Dominicans, y'all got a parade too, right? Yeah, the Dominican Parade. Yeah, and, Where's and, that and at? And the Columbia Parade in New York, that's like a block. That's one I got like one block. So we got Miami shit too. Do Cubans have a parade? Yeah, Cayocho. Yeah, nah, but that's every that's every flag. No, 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 but it started with Cubans. Shout out to the Kiwanis. Like I said, Cayocho no, remind me of Labor Day in New York City because it's every flag included. It's, true. it's it's no specific. It's for every Caribbean person. Yeah, mm, you know what I mean. We're not stupid. I love Cayocho. I love Cayocho. Uh, I love Cayocho. Uh, so you you go you sticking with the it's Cuban B it is Cuban B <laughs> you're sticking with that you the, sure? the, the, that's the, like that's like going to uh, Labor Day Parade and say it's Jamaican mm, it's not point. it's it's everything I have no idea it's West, West Indian. Indian yeah no no I see the Puerto Rican flag everywhere oh, yeah, right, at, right, at, right. at the Labor no, Day but I'm Parade saying the inception of Cayocho started with Cubans it's in Little Havana it started with Cubans the Kiwanis Club. 
the, you gotta the believe organizer EFA. are Cubans. He's the only people who be you knowing this. I know everything Cuban. Look, he argued about Puerto Rico. He also knows that because was it always just the Puerto Rican? Did they only had the Cuban flag in the beginning? No, they never meant it that way. All right, so it was for Latinos in general, but it was a Cuban thing. It Wait, was a Cuban inspired thing. No, no, Cuban founded. Thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, founded. Yeah, but it's for oh. all. Yeah, it nah, was Cuban. B. We're not selfish. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> love. That's love, love, son. Uh, I believe in all. I believe. Yeah. I believe in being universal for the whole. I'm you know, very hip-hop prideful about everybody. my Cuban that's heritage. Right, that's right, B. That's right, B. That's crazy. Who spills oh, some oh, niggas oh, fucking yeah. ass shit up? Oh, that's come on. It's too early for that shit. I love it when niggas fuck somebody else shit up. Not only that. Not my shit. I think that is not twin. It was always twin. Hey, hey, look. Twin is safe right now. Who did it? Paul? Was it Paul? Yo, Paul. What's going on with your heat, man? Can I say some real shit, right? I remember, like I said, I'm a New York nigga. Mm-hmm. And man, niggas just talk about niggas doing Spanish shit and all that. Niggas mm-hmm. say, yo, Nori, you're on the uh-huh. bandwagon. Yo, uh-huh. I heard Nori do Spanish right. in all his verses from the beginning from the of beginning. his career. And you want me to prove always was Spanish? Show, he always showed for, uh-huh. and yo, I always saluted that because I'm you, a proud you, ass Puerto Rican nigga. Too. Yeah. But yeah. let me tell you something. I can always prove I'm Puerto Rican because if I ain't going to shoot you, I'm going to stab you. Let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break a bottle and make that a knife. God damn it, it's a knife. I like knives. I don't know why. It's just in me. I like that eating pussy. I'm Spanish. There's it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't speak. I don't speak it fluent. And I, and if I'm drunk, I ain't gonna understand it. But if I'm sober, give me a little while. It's gonna take me five minutes to understand your one sentence. I but I get it. I see mad bit. Spanish rappers be ashamed to speak their that's language right, right. and be themselves because yeah. like they was gonna be belittled or discriminated. Like right. I always from the, even the beginning of my career, I I, I did it proudly. Like right. I must do this because. From the beginning of hip hop, niggas oh, was doing Oh, we got Eddie the Ass in the building. Eddie the Ass in the building. Shout out Anthony Nino's Pizzeria. Uh, uh, that's right. I thought some pizza was going to come through. Yeah. God damn it. More Puerto Ricans. But go ahead, yo, <laughs> Not so like we needed them do, right in now. In your opinion, you think, like, because I, I, I noticed a lot of, you know, rappers who are half Spanish or half, you know, Puerto Rican or half Dominican or whatever, they don't rep it. But, um, you think it was that was a bad thing at one point when you when you was a Spanish MC like uh, um, that's why they didn't rep it. Or, or nah, nah, not at all, not at all. Like I said, because from the beginning when hip hop was born, there was massive MCs repping it in right. Spanish, and they were part of black groups, mm. and they were doing full Spanish verses, mm. not even Spanglish. Give us right. names. Give us some names. Let's shout them out at least. Motherfucker. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about I'm 83 sorry. and a, I mean, oh. I'm not going back to Charlie Yo, Chase. Charlie Chase. Charlie Chase. He, he didn't the say The Disco Spanish Dream, person. right? There's a mm. song called The Disco Dream, Take The Mean back. Machine. Mm. You never heard of The Mean Machine? Well, my name is Julio and I'm on the go. Ooh, Whip a whip. in school right now. Uh, you never heard motherfucking Muy Bien Puerto Rican. The man is speaking. The man y'all seeking. Charlie Rock when it's time to get Charlie cool. Okay. I took a dive in Central Park pool. Like, Ooh. it was mad Ooh. niggas really Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. doing the shit from from the beginning, from what the intro, that? What that? 82, 83. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a rep for Mellow Man Ace. He did Mentirosa, and he rep for the Cubans. And, and, and yo, Cypress I, Hill crew, he's from, yo, he's from massive, the Cypress. Yo, massive, massive respect to Mellow Man and brother. everybody. But like, even me and Mellow had this, yeah, this discussion. Is a, this is a me and Mellow had this discussion. We got to rep it, you know what I mean? That's three, man. Oh, you're Latino right now. Listen, it's only us three, and God damn it, Gatlin's being clear. Y'all only three Latinos. Yeah, Mellow Man, Gatlin, Mellow Man, Gatlin. Train. So that's three. What do you mean you? You have. Nah, we no, all, we all black. black. We all so I'm going to say, man, you took my joke away. We all Look, black, man. So I'm going to say, uh, and, 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 but you only got half of me. <laughs> you know, you got half. K&S, too. K&S, you okay. black? K&S, K&S ain't black. You white like a motherfucker. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, K&S. I, I forgot. Nah, I didn't see you shit. over there. Real shit, Word, man. But yeah, I mean, you know what? You know, um... I, I didn't grow up. It's crazy because sometimes I blame it on like not that not blame it on like, not that I blame anything on anybody, but sometimes it's like like I actually had both my moms and my father. So my mom's was black, so she played you know Marvin Gaye and you know uh, he, uh whatever, whatever Luther Vandross and shit like that. Then my father played Hector Lavoe wow. and Willie Colon and shit Tito like Puentes. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them niggas, Tito Brentes and shit like that. And you know I learned about you know. So I, I never grew up black. I never grew up Puerto Rican. I grew up a black the product Rican. Of your like parents. I grew up, yeah, so me too. It, it, it was never like I was e- actually even rapping. I was just being who I was. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not. I just. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. 
I'm, I consider myself a black person, but I also consider myself a, a Puerto Rican as well. How the hell you didn't speak Spanish then? Yeah, I don't care. They, they retarded. I'm more Spanish than them. I bet you I know how to make a totona. It's better than them. <laughs> you figure that's smell hard, me. That's hard. You figure smell me. It's okay. Like I speak my my Spanish comes from the heart, and that's that's crazy. That's like if somebody asks me, you know, why you don't wear your red ring? Well, my red ring is on my heart. Everybody know I'm married. I post my wife. I take her with me everywhere. She don't complain about it. Fuck you. We live by our own morals. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. I wish. I think. I think that. That goes back to the the idea we've been going through a couple episodes. We talking about should there be a hip hop flag? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Should hip hop be a yes. race? In uh, yes, fact, yes. Right. to me, hip hop is a religion yeah. that right. I follow yeah. and that I live. That I live right. But right. going back to what he was saying, as far as the Puerto Rican, that like right. I'm Puerto Rican, right. but I grew up black. Right. I grew up in Brownsville. That's a fat Joseph. I fought, I'm Cuban. I, I grew fought up Cuban, mostly like, because I was Spanish, <laughs> and there was only black people around me. Right. The people closest to my heart are black. The culture right. I know more than my own is black culture right. because of where I lived and mm-hmm. things like that. And I only lived wherever the closest methadone clinic was. Mm. Feel what I'm saying? And yeah. to what my family structure was and all that. Mm. So I embraced everything as a kid. I speak Spanish and all of that only because... My grandmother and them are straight hibados from Puerto Rico who don't English. speak no English. Yeah, that's and every time Spanish my mother too. did a prison bid, that's who I lived with. And this right. is from baby ages. So I think that's where I got the language. But even being in Brownsville with all of my friends, every girlfriend, my children, everything was black. Mm. I didn't I wasn't I wasn't having the access to spend. I just start coming back to Miami in the 2000s because even my family here didn't really fuck with me like that mm. because I was too different and I was Brownsville coming to Miami. I mm. just learned how to do different and be about the positive shit and everything we doing mm. that we've been involved in now but our coaches and all that to me has always been one. I one hate one, racism. Mm. I hate people Differentiate and all that shit saying right. of what we're not in that flag he been talking about in all them episodes. Right. Right. That's we need that yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah that's we what we need. Need that shit. Yeah. We need that shit. You know why I say that? Because it be times like, you know, you go to a restaurant, you go to a hotel, and it's like Maybe you smell like weed and like maybe you're not gonna smoke weed there, but you you know you just count the car, you smell or like walk weed. With a and some flag. people will be like, you know what, sir, you know you smell kind of crazy. Can you can you you know we don't want your kind here. And and that, they don't mean a race thing. It's just like man, I just I do smell like a pound. I just smoke <laughs> seven blunts like right in front. Like you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to build up my appetite, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it's like all right, cool. I I, I get it. Like one time uh, we was in the taco spot. Remember twin? I was so mad at this guy. I was waiting. Uh, I was getting, about to get on a flight, so uh, I said, "Let's go get a drink." It was like it was like two, 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 two and a half hours. I checked in my bag, and I went back to come have a couple of drinks. As soon as we walked in, I didn't realize Twin was rolling up as we walked in. So we sat down, we ordered our drinks. They was like, "You got to leave," and I respected the establishment because I was like, "You know what?" I seen kids, I was like, twin, you're a fucking idiot. What the fuck are you rolling up in public for? One. And then two, if you've seen kids, you gotta respect that. But what I'm saying is, if that establishment, they would have took it less anything. Like I would have been with them regardless if there's any kids around, first off. But the fact is. Like when you see that flag, that that establishment is supposed open, to permit arms, certain yeah. things. Like you know, certain things is hip hop, and it doesn't mean disrespect. One thing I noticed about Puerto Rico in general is in Puerto Rico you can sniff cocaine wow. and everybody don't say nothing to you mm. but you light a blunt and people be like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I, I tell a famous story I tell it all the time it's like I was with my cousins my family and you know what I'm saying they were sniffing the whole time sniffing sniffing and I lit a blunt and and you know I seen them sniffing I ain't say shit you know what I mean I was like you know go you ahead you know go ahead but I rolled a blunt I smoked and them, and them niggas say, oh my God, Papito, you do drugs? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they asked me if I'm the... Yo, this is weed. These niggas sniffing. Like, and that's what I'm saying. It's certain places <laughs> that where weed is disrespectful to people. Right. But if you're at a hip-hop establishment, this is established that I'm doing this for me. And I'm not, I'm not trying to offend anybody by the smell of my wonderful Kush or Haze or whatever it has been. And then I just think this hip-hop flag is necessary. I think that we should. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, think I think the think, whole idea should revolve around if you smell nah, weed or I, not. It's, it's an yeah, example, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> let's suppose you're drunk. Let's right. suppose you're, you're fucking DJ fucking cool, cool, 
Cool kid. Fuck, I'm about to say cool Herc, but cool kid. One of your past DJs. Let's say it's about, about to do cool kid, and you're drunk, and you you happen to fall over and just knock some shit down. You're at the hip hop establishment. They know that cool kid didn't mean it like that. <laughs> nah, you know but what I think saying? that's different. I think that's different. But I, I guess maybe I think it's a bad example. Man, you you, you got to have some control over no, yourself. You, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that was and a bad example. Yourself yeah. as a person. A bad for example. You you want them to respect hip hop. Then right. we gotta show them how much we respect right. ourselves. I think you're correct. Like we and should have our own manners as, as well. Yeah, and mm. we should always conduct ourselves in that way. But we shouldn't be stereotyped. That's why the flag is right. What you're that's what I'm about. saying. Because it's like, don't stereotype us because we look or we represent a certain culture. Yeah, but if you right. fall, they're gonna stereotype you. Oh and no, to. what I'm saying yeah. is, yeah. you fall like you're a fucking drunk. Up. Ass, you fucking you know? up. Right. Cause you know what? You representing me. Right. I'm representing you. Right. Anywhere I go and I do some dumb shit, right. then that's you just as dumb as me because you right. representing that same flag. Yeah, right? that's, that, that's true. That's true. That's true. I, I, I agree with that totally. But I, but I get what but you're saying. But what I'm saying and is... you walk up to the... Let's say you go... Mistakes to, happen. The hotel shit right. to me makes total sense. Right. You walk up to a hotel counter and right. you smell like a little weed. Yep. If you had the hip-hop flag there... Right. They, they understand. Right. You they good. Understand. That's what you do. And they can even still yeah. tell you, you know, you don't smoke in that room. All right, cool. It's not like yeah. we asking to smoke in the room. Is that when we smoke out front, don't call the police on us? Right. Because we down together. <laughs> God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Your flag says so, my nigga. Get <laughs> yeah. Niggas start getting the tattoo. Shit, shit they got the hip hop flag. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go down. The flag is there. It's going down. They're gonna be like Mr. Santiago and DJ EFN. Are you guys doing drink champs tonight at this room? Yeah, I mean, let me tell you our policy. Yeah, but for instance. We just, you got, fellas, can you keep the conversation down over there? For instance, <laughs> the most respect I've ever seen a hotel just show us, uh, show us, period. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm a heavy W Hotel advocate. I'm, I'm a heavy Starwood guy. I'm, I'm staying. Just... No other hotels unless they Starwood or, 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 or that. But we just interviewed Snoop. Snoop was an hour and a half Yo, away from us. Were... And I have to check the bills still. Right, yeah, but listen, <laughs> Snoop, was, Snoop was an hour and a half away from us. We're scared to death. We go to, y'all go to the front desk. Mr. Lee and EFN, the business guys, stepped up as business guys. I, like, uh, again, I was smelling like weed, so I didn't want to stay in the front there. <laughs> but you dreams. guys came there. I heard the guys say to you guys, as long as you guys clean up, make sure, don't worry about it. Like, they knew we was going to smoke weed. Like, th- but, we got to big up that but, hotel. But let me tell you the differences, though, too. Okay. I took I took it upon myself to be just honest with them. I said, right. dude was cool. I said, look, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Right. I'm just telling you Ooh, straight you up. You see EFN's face right now. I like the face. He said that one more time. He said that one more time. What did you say to the guy again? What did you say? Yeah, I said, this is what we're going to do. Like, uh-huh. my, my thing is... Do it like before. Do it like before. My thing is, like, I don't want no miscommunication yeah. with you, bro. Right, right, like, yeah. listen, like, you cool right now. Y'all know Snoop is don't here. Be, don't be not cool later. Right, like, this right. was... I'm going to tell you exactly. I'm not going to front to you like it's going to be this and that. Nah, my man, you got my credit card. Right. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Right. What do you think? And my right. man was honest with me. Yeah, cool. Cool. So they we had brought us a table. Yeah, brought us tables, brought us chairs. Tables. We moved the furniture. We made that like, shit into a we studio. We smoked the shit. Well, right. uh, we're not gonna say what we had. But. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And shout out to Snoop, who right. sent his manager. To, to tell us to put a fucking shower, the shower, shower cap, cap on the sensor. That's, 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 that's how you know he's a smoke. And we smoked. And we listen. And we smoked repeatedly. It was two hour session. Yeah. Wow. And, but mind you, yeah. we we, we, we came in oh, yeah. and we chopped it up for five, ten minutes and we were smoking then and, and then we shit. kept going. Yeah, please get busy. You want some yeah. Colombian wine? And, and we kept yeah, fuck with that. <laughs> and we kept going and um uh so, yeah, the, the alarm did go off. So we're going to need to pick up that hotel. What's the name of that hotel? Check your credit card charges. <laughs> sure you want to say you want to get in trouble with guys. Check your credit card. Now, let's not shout them out right it's now. Let's not? All right, well, anyway. Yeah, because we don't want to get them in trouble. It was like we had hand. the hip-hop flag that day. No, we did. Like, in a sense. Yeah, definitely. And Yo, Snoop was how the hip-hop flag. How do we go about getting that flag, though? How do we make that flag know, happen? I've seen the logo. I've seen the real, man. But I got a thousand shit. You might laugh. That is really serious. No, no, but listen. That shit has an impact what it could be. Y'all might laugh, but you can we can actually like submit a form right. to the United Nations for that flag. Mm. The only thing is, you might need a country. Mm. I'm in. <laughs> America is the country. Dusseldorf. No, that's already a country. We might have to that take over. To to we might have to take over one of the keys. Hold, hold on, hold on. That's bullshit. How we we gonna go to ass only, nigga. Country. Let's do it. But they're not. They're yeah. not like official. Ass only. Oh, okay. Well, you have a good point. You have a good point. Yeah. 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 The gay flag. They have a gay flag. Yeah, and it's official. No, but they're not an official country. Nobody don't deny they flag. Not a country, but they're an official. Recognized. They're an official lifestyle. So we just gotta raise that bitch and just go for it. We just gotta make it. 
You know who's gonna help us? Somebody from a union. We need a nigga from a union. That's what I've been looking. Union <laughs> niggas. Havoc, Havoc shut me Jimmy down. Huff, uh, union niggas. Did you hear the Havoc episode? <laughs> yeah. Thurston, did you nah, hear the Havoc? I hear, I hear. Havoc shut me down when okay. I we was talking about the union stuff. And I said, right. we need to have the same type of union as the actors do, which is the, what is the actors <laughs> guild? SAG. SAG. Yeah, Screen yeah, Actors yeah, Guild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. could have the same thing in hip hop. Right. I don't know why Havoc was shutting me down on that. Nah, because he probably was trying, somebody's probably trying to get him down in the union and it wasn't good. No, but we need that in hip hop. Like a No, we do. What do you think? That's, that's a fact. That's a Russell Simmons job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, definitely yeah, not yeah, my job. Who can really delegate, but to delegate that appropriately, right. to make sure right. that the standards set, the rules applied, and all that, right. to make sure everybody right. follow it yeah, and agree right. to it, because you, I'm, you, you're not gonna follow shit that you don't agree right. to. Right. Like Biggie and Pun's yeah. kids, they put enough work in hip hop that once they passed away, they should have automatically been something. For their for children. Too. It shouldn't have been right. a record label's but responsibility. But you have to buy into it. Or, you have to apply to it. Yes. And whatever your work yes. ethic is, that's what you get back. It's that's what like SAG people is. buy $24 a month. They buy great health insurance. Right. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much the same thing. Like, you make it so it's not where it's breaking nobody's budget. Exactly. And you got your assistants got dental. Maybe, you know what maybe, I'm saying? I think maybe Dream Champs... We could do. We that. could start it. I'm gonna do drink champs. I, I, I would love to start right it. Now. I would love to start drink it. But champs, I'm too we drunk. cover your liver. I'm too drunk to keep <laughs> wow. up with it, my nigga. Wow. Wow. I, I, I yeah, might be at Best Buy. We cover your liver. Your liver is good for three years. Liver insurance policy. Liver insurance. Liver insurance. Yo, let me tell you some crazy shit. We be laughing on some low like yeah, yeah. Eddie, what the last ass you ate? Come here. Let me want to hear from you real quick, Eddie. Be like, what last ass you ate? Come on. Let's just let's describe that last ass eating that you just you had, Eddie. Come on. Yeah. A great discussion going on. Listen, right man, now. you, you want to like talk about shaved. ass eating? Wait, every time I know you shaved, you just ate some ass. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Eddie lost weight, so he might yeah, not be eating yeah. that much ass anymore. Nah, he eat ass. No, That's no, your no, pickup no. line. Keep it real. You'd be like, how you doing, Linda? I eat ass. Sometimes. That's just it. Works My name is Eddie. On, Linda. on nice hood rats from Hialeah. It works wow. on Hialeah hood rats. Yeah, you gonna throw Hialeah under the bus? Yo, I love Hialeah. Hialeah got the hood rats. That's the last one. Hialeah the baddest ones I've seen in Miami. Those Hialeah chicks will whoop his ass right now for saying that. And I love it. I love it. How did it taste? Like a, like a quarter? I told you, like penny, like coppers. Oh, it's yeah? Like copper. Not like a quarter. Yeah, so it, yeah, like a bag. Like not like one like, copper, like, it's like coppers. The, yeah, like the, a penny. The, the, D, the D battery? When you the D battery. battery. You sucked right, on the battery right. before? How the fuck no, you know what no, a battery tastes like? I don't say no sucky, oh, uh-huh. man. Okay. Okay. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. 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 You but you've mm. done some crazy joints, and you did a joint with Eminem. Mm. Tell us about how that joint got made, because I, I'm sure there's not many people in this room. Do you guys know that he no, did a I joint with Eminem? Know. I did, I did. At one point, I'm going to tell you all this as a DJ. This is DJ shit, DJ mm. nerd shit. When, when Thurston was on the, came on the scene, at least to where I was aware of Thurston, and Eminem came on the scene, this is a pre-Dre. It was like they were like neck and neck, like... Everybody mm. felt that they were both like the new thing in hip hop, like, and they were. And from what I heard, you turned away a lot of deals at that time, and you just stayed selling. You you were manufacturing and selling your CDs from your same project apartment. And I know this because my homie used to sell your CDs, and he told me he's like, "Yo, I called the number on the CD." And he, he he picked it up like he just woke up. That's right. still the same number right now. <laughs> Damn. Uh, same uh, number in my pocket. Uh, Any CD, if I could pull out a CD or DVD and put it in your hands when you look at a phone number and you call it, that's the number that's in my pocket. Uh, and it's been that way since 1998. But but oh, how, did, how did that relationship with Eminem Yo, what kind develop? of phone company you got? <laughs> <laughs> I got Sprint. Them niggas must love Sprint. you. You don't nigga. know Sprint? Them niggas, y'all niggas must be down. I, they love like, everybody. You, you got pay more, your bills. Y'all, so. y'all, y'all, y'all basically <laughs> married, my Ooh. nigga. Like, yeah, you pay your like, bill, you married. Been with the phone companies. Yo, if they cut you off, you got a real legitimate. Like, nigga, I've been with y'all since y'all was whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's me and AT and T. Uh, I've had my number for like 10, 15 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's crazy. Get the wow, fuck out of here. 
These niggas is dinosaurs in here, man. I had a beat hey, really, I'm trying to change my number right now. Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So, so did Eminem have that number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that? How did that? How did that relationship develop? Did y'all know each other like that when y'all made that record? Nah, I, I met Eminem through Wendy Day from it was the Spinner, Rap Coalition. Spinner made that beat, right? Spinner made the beat, but I met Eminem through Wendy, Wendy Day. Day. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you, you, yeah. You Wendy, Day, Wendy, Wendy Day. Wendy Day. Wendy yeah. Day had created something called the Rap Olympics in 1997 oh. to where she wanted to get all the all Isn't the groups that how M got discovered? Yep. All the yeah. groups in hip hop that was supposed to be so nice, she developed like a, an Olympics for all these groups to compete against each other and show what it is. So right. in the process of her doing that, she had like Fuji's, Wu-Tang, everybody had teams. Wendy Day had her own team called the Rap Olympics team, Wendy Day's team, Rap Coalition. That consisted of me, Eminem, Juice from Chicago, mm. Quest the Mad Lad, and Wordsworth. Oh, mm. shit. And that's how I met Eminem. And everybody on our team was like niggas who super nice off the head. You don't got to hear one written rhyme to believe the niggas the truth. And every single person on the team was like that. And right. Wendy put us together. I never heard of all these people before. I heard of words and all that because, you know, doing the underground seat in New York. But... The day I did the joint with with M, right? The joint was called Watch These. Y'all were in the studio together? We was in the studio together. Uh, we was broke. We was uh, walking uh, through Best Style. This is pre shady, pre, pre all that. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So Eminem walked through Best Style? Eminem. Eminem used to come to Brownsville and chill with my projects Get with me. With out. Paul yeah. Rosenberg uh. and Freestyle All Night and Paul Rosenberg was Paul Freestyle. Because he was a lawyer to all the underground artists. Yeah, he was my lawyer Shout at the same scam, time. Scam too. But uh, Paul used to freestyle logo, with way. us. We freestyle wow. till 5, 6 in the morning. Wow. Me and Eminem never talked. We rhymed. Everything wow. was a conversation and rhyme. Yeah. And Paul would... Interact in rhyme form anytime he spoke. Because he us. rhymed originally. Paul was. A, I never he, knew that. Yeah, he was a rapper. He's, yeah, I he never said, knew he that. He said that before. Wow, I didn't know that. Damn, shit. But M used to come to Browns with. He hang all night. He'd chill wow. all night, and he wasn't scared. Wow. You know what I mean? Well, and I came, respected Detroit. that. He came from some crazy. So, 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 so another, Brownsville still holding so on. So in other world, words, man. in case people was was getting it twisted, Eminem is an official nigga. Let's make some noise. Yeah, we inducted. We, we inducted Justin, what's the nigga Justin name? Justin Bieber. Bieber. Wow. And now we are officially inducting Eminem yeah. and the Drink no, Champs. No, no, no. We got to hold back. Negro, Justin doesn't get an official endorsement. Nah, so he, he comes he, here and drinks three shots of our Diente, two shots of Bacardi. Uh, what do you want him to drink? I don't give a fuck. We got to drink all that Tiger shit. Tiger bone. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we co-signing Eminem. Yeah, Eminem's yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, truth. Eminem's the truth, son. Because this nigga's from down the block. He don't want to go to Brownsville. He's the truth, That's a fact. son. He come That's to Brownsville fact. and he just want to rhyme. With a, a skateboard. That's, That's, a That's why I respect everybody who lit this shit. You just want right. to rhyme. Like, nobody's worried about nothing because they just coming to do this crap and live and represent that flag well, that well, we keep talking you, about. Doing a joint with him early in, in the career, did you ever see where he's at now? Like, you, you, you did you see that, that as the future? I believed he was the truth. You, But you thought he was going to be as big as he? As, a, as he became I think none of us Thought what was to come mm. You know what I mean And we all had The speculations of Yo Don't forget me Don't forget me Don't right. Did he forget we, you? Uh, I wouldn't say that Everybody everybody But go ahead nah, nah, <laughs> I'm saying Have you yeah. ever Been able to reach out Or do you want to Even reach out like You know now? what Anytime I was in The same circumference Or environment Where he was He showed me the love To show me that You know my friend And right. this like, like I ain't forget I ain't right. forget because we inspired each other. I believe we all, as artists too, like when you're a great artist, you're going to inspire the next artist. That's what makes us all greater. So he knows as a true hip-hop artist, what he saw here, just like what I saw there, and like right. what everybody on the team, even why Wendy saw to put us together. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to lie. I think that he needs to come now and... You guys need to do part two of that record with DJ yeah, yeah, Spinner producing it Let again. Let me tell you the crazy part. That you I remember doing, doing that the record joint. Again, in that the record crib, is right? crazy, by the way. I Spinner, put it on Spinner played me the beat. I know Spinner for a while too. Yeah. You know, I live in Brooklyn. I'm Brooklyn. Yeah. That's Scam's cousin or something, right? Is it? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when I was cousin. working at MTV, like the story I told my partner who I worked at every day with MTV was Spinner's fucking roommate. Mm. You know what I mean? So I kind of met Spinner through Amir Grice, who was my partner who I worked with in MTV in production. So I would go to his crib shit. 
I try, yo, tell some, let me get a beat, son. Nobody wanted right. to give me a beat back then. Anyway, <laughs> when shit start popping, this is 1999. The raucous stuff is happening. Everybody's right. getting the buzz. The underground is really emerging to have an existence because on some real hip hop shit, I believe the underground carried it for all these years. That why it still exists. Because right. when it died in commercial, the underground is the reason that. True, classical, real hip-hop, what everybody said, that's why it exists. Because how it was carried from the underground on. So, 99 brought that point. It also brought the point of the super MC. When niggas was super lyrical with a mm. cape on their motherfucking back and right. all that. You know what I mean? So, right. when we did that joint that day in the crib, right? Spin played the beat and all that. I laid my verse first. We all right. came with verses ready. Right. This is real shit, though. I li- when I laid my fir- verse first... M spit his verse and then he changed it and he wrote it differently mm. on the spot. Mm. Wrote his shit on the spot, but he changed his entire verse after mm. I laid my verse. Mm. After he laid, and that's truth. You know, he won't deny that. He's a real yeah. artist. I won't say, oh, my shit was better where he had. Did whatever. he tell you? He was like, yeah, I, I'm going to write even, my shit. Listen, I've been in the studio with artists to where when they lay something, and it really makes the track excellent, I'll follow their format. There's nothing right. wrong with that. Yeah, so yeah. if I set a tone, he felt as a true MC and all that, change what he was originally coming in because a tone is set. Follow the tone. And he did exactly that. You know what I mean? Mm. And put it to the pace of what the f- song is supposed to be for what it is right. It's a big classic for me. You know what I mean? Right. In my life and career. And you got that on iTunes now? It's on everything. Oh, it's so that came out through Rockers, right? Came out through Rockers. It came out on my Skill Against Island album. It came, it came, out, <laughs> it came out on every mixtape I did. It just love like no, this. No, 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 no. And he on the remix. Right. Um, <laughs> but the so song was called like Watch being These. On, being on, oh, okay, Watch These. So how was it like being on Rockers? I, ne- I never took the deal from Rockers. Oh, what? Nah, I got, this guy dodged mad deals. Nah, I ain't going to say I, I never dodged nothing, man. I, I right. was eager, very eager. My name was Thurston. I was hungry for anything you're going to throw at me, but right. nothing was right. But you wanted to own it. It seemed like that. Not even. I didn't even know what ownership was. I had right. Wendy Day representing me, teaching me. Right. Through this whole process, Wendy was guiding me a lot. All my deals that were coming, Wendy. How did you meet Wendy. I met Wendy rapping on the street. She heard me rapping on the street, battling niggas. And she like, oh, you need to come to my events that she do. She right. used to do something called just freestyle ciphers at the Musicians Union on 48th Street, like right. in New York City. And it was something that brought a lot of rappers together to come and test your motherfucking sword. See how good you was with it, you know? Yo, my first deal I got, I got from LL Cool J. Wow. Niggas, nigga heard about some of my battles I was doing, destroying niggas. And they put my phone number in the article and he called me. And and he rhymed with me all night for like 10 hours. When he called me 3 o'clock in the morning, he rapped on the phone to like <laughs> 10 uh, the next day. Uh, rhyming. Uh, we rhyming back to like, we're going at it. First, when he called, you know, I got, it's on the beeper. These the beeper days. Right. So he's on the beeper. And my girl was like, who the fuck beeping you 3 o'clock in the morning from California? And, you know, I'm working for MTV, so I get a lot of work coming from California. Right. Let me answer this shit. Right. They say, yo, this is LL. Yo, stop playing with me, son. I'm sleeping. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's right. good? What's good? Yo, this is LL. It was LL for real. He want to rhyme, son. Yo, <laughs> he just called yo I read the article, <laughs> checked it out. I want you to hear this. <laughs> Nigga was spitting rhymes. We going back to back all day. The next day, a messenger came to my house and presented me with a deal. Wow. And gave me a deal. That's hard. You wow. know what I mean? And the first Claudine, thing I, Joseph, you know we need Al uh, on here. Yeah. I've been yeah. hearing you, girl. Yeah, Al, Al was on. good. Go ahead. All right. But and the first thing I did was give it to Wendy. You know what I mean? Every deal I ever got in the beginning, I gave everything to Wendy. And, and she handled everything and for me. she said no? Wendy said, if you're going to take this deal, I can't do it for you. <laughs> so she said no. But so, so you never technically was on a record label at all? Never. Man, wow. I was always skilly in there. In now, you think that was a plus or that was... A, it got to be a little bit of both, a plus and a minus. Yeah, yeah, but I think it was more of a plus because with my hunger and the amount of quantity and quality of work that I was coming with, right. they would have never let me do as much as I've done. You know what I mean? I did. I, I released over 30 CDs alone. Right. Mix, master, produce, right. everything. A lot of this, I'm very self-sufficient. I could do by myself. And movies, right. too. Movie, yeah. Mm. I ain't even meant. I'm talking. Right. 
It's right. crazy you to that extent. Yeah. Even the influences we have had on the hip hop culture Matt, Matt Heroin, sorry. as a whole, you know what I mean? So it's like, and it's not like I never wanted to be in control of this shit. Right. I just love it. You can't tell right. me how to stop, move, go this mm. way. I'm not doing nothing you want me to do. I'm going to rhyme. I'm going to lit this shit and do it to the fullest. Mm. So wait, so if we fast forward now, recently you did the, the, the film that Nas was a part of. The fresh dress, fresh dress. You saw that? Um, yeah, actually, no, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't see it. But I went to the after party where they was playing. What, Sasha, what's and Sasha, Sasha Jenkins, Jenkins was the Shout director. Yeah. Mass appeal. I got to meet him at South by yeah. Southwest. Shout out to him. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just basically based on the history of hip hop fashion, and it spoke from every aspect of what hip hop fashion came from. You know what I mean? And the transitions that developed and all that. So. It was a big, but the movie really showcased a lot of what low life brought to the table. Right. Not just me, myself, you know what I mean? I come from a whole the team movement. of yeah, people that, you know, there's something we all started together. And right. and the influence in what it has become in hip hop to what hip hop is today mm. is now where we really Yeah, but how about that song? It's running by my low life. Uh, y'all stepped to him yet? <laughs> no. 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 Come on, how do y'all feel about that, man? My man's face went down. Come on, how does the real nah, world? Who so. sings that? Who sings that? That's the weekend. The weekend yeah, sings yeah. that. Oh yeah, weekend. He's it, yeah, you're gonna run down care, on the weekend. So. We do what we do. You know what I mean? Uh, we at the point where do he know about the no lies or you all know? I think everybody know by now. As far wow, as hip hop culture, it's, it's it's really documented now it's to where nobody out, discredits it no more. You know what I mean? About my low life. Yeah. Damn, Sly Weekend, you gotta pay a check. No, he needs you on the remix. How old is pay that song? Pay a check, man. How old is that song? We gonna I don't do us know, regardless, popping, son. But I, it made me think of that. I was like, damn, yeah. you know what I mean? Mad people just... had low life songs. No, mad right. people listen mad, to the podcast. You want the remix. Mad people had low life songs. You want the remix. Yeah, that's right. Yo, but it's all good. I took Mad a weekend shit too and flipped right. it. So there you go. He's on your remix too. We flipped it. Now you know you know Trash, right? Of course I know Trash. Trash is a good dude, man. Okay, you know what I mean, like. I fucks with trash. I, I'm more fuck with trash through, you know, knowing him through the music. I'm a fan uh -huh. first of okay. everybody. You knew him you know as trash I mean? or intelligent hoodlum. I mean, I knew trash. Wake up in the morning and stereo gone. You know about that? Mm. Uh, you know that's '85. Mm. People yeah. didn't even know he was, how. He was how, a kid, right? He was yeah, a he was song. a little kid. If you hear that song, it, it ain't even him. To what Trash mm. became. Mm. Trash, I could say, is one of the most artists that I've seen been past and present with no problem. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Skill He's level. For sure. Uh, break periods, pauses, yeah. and all that still come, cut your head off with the same shit, and he right. still do what he do and be him. And that's right. real, you know, as right. far as being a person and really living this shit, and right. especially for what hip-hop is, skill matters to me first, son. His skill right. level never diminishes throughout the process of whatever he's doing. From time, from that time to this time. It's big up trash, goddamn it. Yeah, yeah. Trash know what it is, you know what I mean? Am I right that on the clothing line that you got, you're working with Willie Esco? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Willie Esco put the brand together. That's crazy how that, everything comes around Willie again. Esco, yeah. Willie's, you know, Willie know what he's doing right now. You got to see the new, the the fall season shit coming. We got gooses and all that now for 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 New York. They got to need I mean? some gear, man. I got you. He clip. got. He got. But hold on, I need you to ask this question. Drink so now, twin, you've been around a long time. <laughs> 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 you see his dedication when he said to the music. I want. I, I got a two part question for you. One, <laughs> is, is that Do you have that dedication when it comes to ass eating? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, you do. Let's make some noise there, baby. Yeah. 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 Look, Eddie's, Eddie's taking the focus. He's, taking he's, focus. he's Eddie's like, like I am the ass. We're about to have a battle. What are you talking about? Eddie, have you figured out? Have you figured out what you want to be when you grow up? I don't think he's gonna grow up. Just riding the wave, man. Just riding the wave. I don't know what that means. That means he'll be he's wavy. He's wavy. He'll be in. Uh, he'll be um the guys on the highway. Like <laughs> with the with the, with the oh, orange. With the orange. That's, that's nah. Oh, he's gonna bring. Give me gas. gas when I run the guys on the highway with the, <laughs> the orange shit on. <laughs> yeah. and they be waving like they like it's an airplane. Oh, or the dude like, yeah, that drum nigga. takes that's, you to the beepers. You gotta store. figure out who you want to be, man. Come on. You, what you want to be? What you want to be at the end of life? Didn't you want to rap at some point? You kick me a rap. I told you. Oh, never. if you rap, you need to rhyme right now. I told you never do that again. Yeah. That's it. If you yeah. rap, yeah. you need to rhyme right the fuck now. We'll tell you. So you don't know. What tell you us your be. best verse. You got Thurston Howell. You got N O R E. You need you, to rhyme right now. Twin, twin, you don't know what you want to be. 
Like, for real, for real. Like, now, spit your verse, spit your verse. Listen, you could be like Eddie. Eddie living in his parents' crib. Wow. To this day. Wow. But Eddie got verse, though. <laughs> to this day. Eddie, Eddie come on. Nah, he ain't spitting last time. Eddie bad ass, though. He He's living his life. <laughs> no rent. He ass. Doesn't matter. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Come on. You can't like verse. No, seriously. You want to be like Eddie. You say I want to be like Eddie. Bro, it's your spit time to shine, bro. Verse. It's now or never. Sometimes I got I got rhymes in my head, but I don't. Don't spit no verse. Let me hear But like I said, I got dreams. You know what I mean? And I'm chasing right. my dreams. Talk to him. What do you think the verse is the okay. best thing about it? Dreams, man. My dreams. I know. Your inspiration. I love hip hop. I, I love hip hop. I've been watching That's MTV real. since I was nine years old. Wow. That nigga worked at MTV. You know what I mean? I, I was watching Noriega on MTV, and now Noriega is one of my what best friends. That's right, baby. So shit is crazy how. But you don't know what you want. I don't know. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I'm just. He just living. Putting all this energy, I'm living you, to you the universe. Seen, I'm um, a positive nigga, you know. What you mean? ever seen um, next Friday? There's a yeah. um, there's a pimp and then there's assistant pimp. <laughs> I think you should apply for the assistant pimp job. Let's make some noise to that guy there. <laughs> 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 I pulled a sword on you and you just slapped the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Eddie, come over here, man. Tell us how it is living in your parents' crib. I come on. The basement. You live wow. in the basement? It's the a girl, hold on. I ain't never seen a basement, basement in Miami. Deep in the aquifer. No, but don't blame that. I'm living in your parents' on East Elmhurst. You are. That's some Miami shit right there. That's some kid do shit right there. How you doing, man? Yo, do your moms let bitches come over? Like, you sure? So you eat. You eat they, ass. they even cook for them. She cooks for she them. She cooks for them? Yeah. You eat their ass. The mom's in the next room, and then she cook for them. Let's make some noise yeah, for your mom. It's on the West Wing, though. Let's make some noise. Yeah, that's hard, that's hard, Let's make that's some hard. noise for your mom's being hey, a yo, gangster. My mom's used to tell bitches I wasn't there when I was in the room with the next bitch. That's how real my mom's keep it. You know what I mean? That's G. That's and you know what's crazy? Hold up, because this is some crazy shit. One day I got a bitch in the room, yeah. So another bitch knock at the yo, door. On, I'm, I'm, I'm and my hold on, hold on. Nah, nah, nah. But the way you said, yeah, that was yeah. like yeah, sexual real. It's real, but check it out. Yeah. Yo, but and yo, so my mom said, "Yo, this brown skin girl was knocking at you." So after she left, my mom told I wasn't there. I run to the window to see who it is. It's my PO, nigga. My mom told I wasn't home. I had to run downstairs and all. I'm like, "Yo, ma, this this the work release PO. I ain't even on parole or nothing yet." Wow, that's crazy. She, my mom's a hold it down. She lie for me in a motherfucking minute, boy. That's what I'm talking about, my brother, man. Yo, Big Thurston, up your mom. Wait. Let's talk about the book now. Mm. You got this you got book. The book? I got the Damn, book. nigga. Yeah, he's got everything. He's got clothing. He's mm. got movies. <laughs> he's got music. He got books. You going to leave that polo bag, sir? That polo bag. I ain't going to read the book. I'm going to keep it on it. <laughs> you I don't have the book, though. I, got, I pay lawyers nah, to read contracts. The book contracts. is pretty dope. God book, damn it. The book is pretty dope. Oh, man. nah. This is this look mad hard. Complicated. Nah, this this shit is real, son. This is this you is, selling these? Yo, this Rich, oh, this the low light. Can you get up on this? This shit This shit is sold out already, son. Brooklyn niggas is looking at this like, oh, my God. That's This is your book of life. I want to read this shit. This shit is crazy, mm. man. The book is crazy. Bury me with the Lord. I gave, I gave E an advanced copy of the book before. Oh, this is the real book? Real, yeah, real, yeah, real yeah, book. Yeah, book. That's Hold the book. Hold on. This book, more, 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 more ash. This book is right now on eBay mm. for $1,000 because it got Word? sold out in four days of the motherfucking launch. Wow. Sorry, if you look on eBay right now, you see yeah, the book is there it, for $1,000. Is Ralph Lauren coming at you for this, though? Because you got a lot Ralph of Ralph Lauren... Don't like, fuck with us, but they happy we promoting them the way we do. We motherfucking uh, built. Did, help did build Ralph Lauren shit. ever have a, a controversy like Tommy Hilfiger did? Ralph, Ralph, Lauren, right now, Ralph like, Lauren bought five copies. His company bought five copies in the so first week. So you good week. with it? Yeah. Wow. Nah, they know what it is. They don't want to acknowledge us, but they be basically like, thank you for the shit. Not like Tommy Hilfiger. See the nigga with the Adidas suits and the wow. Kangos and all that. Wow. Like it shows nah, the, the book evolution. Crazy. The book and, shows and the, the evolution comes of hip hop. The box crazy. Explain the box that it comes. I mean, the box that, that I gave you was basically the mailing box. When you get it mm. posted to you, it comes in a package, mm. brown box with a polo teddy bear on the front with this an inscription crazy. and all that. You know what I mean? But it tells a lot of the story, mostly about where the culture is now. Mm. This book is based about how it influenced the globe. You know what I mean? From mm. all these different countries, all this these different real. nationalities and right all here. that. Yeah, so like, You know, there's a guy on Burberry is suing right now. Um, Look at those pictures. Um, there's a guy, Burberry Perry. Um, it's an artist, and Burberry um, a- him? actually a- sued him. Oh, yeah, sure. so like wow. you can't get a, you can't like I mean you know y'all been doing this for so long that they probably like fuck that. But right now, if y'all was to start that, like that's what companies are doing. And you even got a Gucci tattoo. Like oh yeah, the, what's My- that about? 
I mean, my name That's used to be Before I fuck with the polo, my name was Gucci. And Brown. Uh, you was the first I, Gucci man? Nah. Holy when, shit. Uh, when, <laughs> holy yo, shit. Yo, when I did my first bit, I went through jail like at 16 years old with a pair of Gucci sneakers on. Mm. Y'all can't imagine the kind of oh, hell I beef. saw. Mm. And, and, and how it is to hold my Gucci sneakers the whole time. Mm. And I was like 130 pounds. This is, this is the time when niggas were saying, yeah, this what was size real. you wear? And in Miami, yeah, but, it was MCM too. You was saying, yo, go to MCM. MCM. A pair, so Gucci, a pair of Gucci yeah. sneakers on Rikers Island was like and wearing a diamond around your neck, son. Right. Like for real, the Gucci sneakers was even on the street. They was the realest things you could get. Yeah. Gucci sneaker was no different than the big motherfucking gold chain on your yeah. neck. That's yeah. how valuable mm. they was, cause you wasn't finding them shits on your corner store in your flea market. You had to go to Saks Fifth Avenue, Macy's. You had to go to these high end spots and figure out how to get that shit out of there, son. Man, this and is, Gucci this is, sneakers back then was three hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars, shit like that. I think that book is crazy, right there. This is a dope book, man. I wish I read books. I don't read books, but I'm gonna look at the pictures. That's dope. <laughs> nah, you good. That's gangster. Like, I good. keep it a hundred. I don't read books. But uh, you know, I want to be smart. Pictures, pictures smarter, tell a thousand words. Pictures you don't gotta read nothing. Man, so, like, so shout out everything you're doing, man. So you know everybody I mean? know before we get up out of it. I'm living this shit, man. I'm living right. hip hop, man. I'm gonna mm. be here forever. My low life culture and movement is forever. Big the niggas up. I am now. Everybody, man. Oh, you, you heard that? Yeah, I am now. Motherfucking. Hey, I mean, hey, yo, hey, oh, let me tell you some crazy shit about right. him saying that. Right. To me, the low life culture represents something that is going to solidify like there's no such thing as old school. We all current. Right. We matter now what we doing now. And that's right. what the low life culture has shown because we the only movement that really was from so deep in the past and so deep in the future coming. Mm. That's never happened before. Everybody mm. has solidified a slot and a spot for what it is. We've been the most multicultural thing, the most bilingual thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo, it's like I could go on forever and say what what it's gonna be, but I think we all need to be this because this is our shot for everything. This is everybody's staple and something we all use to our advantage because this is something we live. Like I fuck with E, right? I come out here all the time. Nah, fuck with you family. all the time, right? That's my family. Right. Hey, fuck with you all the time, my all the time, <laughs> and because you know why? Niggas live it. I right. tell everybody, live it or leave it alone. I fuck right. with the niggas that live it because. Right. I don't worry about nothing because all right. we worried about is living this culture, being this culture, pushing the culture forward, right. and still maintaining ourselves and whatever is supplied to our family and what it is. But there's nothing fake about it. We're serious about living right. it, and that's why we prosper. That's the only reason we prosper, and right. that's the only reason we last. Niggas going on 50. I'm going on 50. Right. Oh, no, I'm 41. I'm 41. I'm 41. I'm 41. I don't mean none of that. You ain't got an AARP card? My shit is serious. Sonny was here. He said, oh, shit. Yeah, I might have to sign up if necessary, right. but Tell nigga 50. Yeah, I'm grandfather status, son. He got, got a couple grandkids. Grand Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. But I'm happy because ain't no young boy going to beat me up either. That's real shit, though. Grandpa going to whoop his ass. My kids know him. It's not a game. like that, And that's what hip-hop gives us, the Fountain of youth Hip hop To me in my life And what I seen I remember when I was a teenager And a nigga was 29 It was like he was 60 uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Hip hop showed me that This is the fountain of youth uh, Niggas stay young forever Even though you get gray You get Niggas still be a baby well, yeah, face EFM right. You say you get gray I, yeah, I call I call, <laughs> EFM, I call EFM Kenny Rogers Every time I stay because I see hey, each hey, other. Yeah. But you know what? You know, the way you just described that, that's how we want the drink chance. That's how we want people to listen to drink chance. Like, you know, um, you know, lately we've been getting a lot of up upper echelon type of artists and we wanted to you know showcase people like you, uh and, and, he, and even like our own crew, like, you know, Mr. Lee and Twin and Eddie uh the ass eater. And um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we want to teach people that, you know, uh, the history and um show show people, but you know, that's what we, we want people to know that when you listen to Drink Champs, you're a part of us. You know what I'm saying? Like a yeah. piece of us, pause, g- stays with you. So if you want to like be in full character, you know, we got the eight and nine cl- uh, the clothes where you yep. can actually get your shots. You don't actually have to drink alcohol if that's not your thing. You could put nah, motherfucking, you, you know, wheat grass. You, you put wheat grass shots. in your shot cuts. You could do whatever. You can, you know, get them shirts. You know, support us because we want us to know that Drink Champs is worldwide. It's not just a thing that we're doing, you know, just to impress a, a couple of people. 
people know this is we're trying to push the culture like you were saying we're trying to push the culture push things forward and you know what have a good time have a drink with us smoke do whatever the hell you want to do but let's just have fun man but you know you know, you know what, what I like the the what I like that people are saying about Drink Champs right now right. they're saying we're the new Source magazine we're the new right. evolution of the mixtapes and me being a mixtape right. DJ mm. to me that this is natural to me like like I'm mm. showcasing and first of all Right. Both y'all on my album, Another mm, Time, Shameless album. Plug. Mm. Has it a sound, mix the whole joint, has mm. beats on there. Mm. And you know For what I'm sure. saying? I just I just like this forum and this platform that we have and mm. it's raw. Like we don't we there's no rules in this shit. Right. Have a motherfucking drink and talk reckless. Right. And yeah. if they don't like it, Turn it off. That's right. That's it. It's let's, as simple as that. Let's keep doing it for that's 20 right. more years, though. That's how real it's going to be. Oh, it's mm. going to be. And we got to make sure that's happened to where it's beneficial for us to do it for 20 more years. Mm. Remember, hip-hop was never old. and It's getting old. Not that it's getting old. Yeah. It's just... Um, standing the test of time exactly. And if you could stand the test of time Along with it Then you can show so much And you can be prosperous And make your children be prosperous mm. Your family and anybody Who's focused to really do this And make mm. it happen It's not a game So I'm not playing with this shit. You mm. already know So I'm yeah. not so playing Mr. with this So son. Mr. Lee what you, gonna, you got something to say Before you get up out of here Come on Talk to the people In English. You know, We like it We yeah. like it We like it Keep, keep uh-huh. listening to uh-huh. this show Uh-huh Yeah I love <laughs> Yo, twin, what's up, man? Come on, you think like you look like you've been thinking a long time. He's been waiting for this Come on, final tell statement, him, baby. Give us the final tell statement. Him. You man, went to it's, Vegas. It's crazy, yeah, man. Prostitute took chance. care of you. Yeah, see, drink chance. Let's shout out to that prostitute that took care of you. Hey, Rose, man, you already know she said she coming with a bag full of money, man. You heard? What? Uh, Rose, oh, she got a bag Rose? for you. Yeah, she said she coming with a duffel bag, yo. I gotta save on Snapchat, you dig? Yo, I seen her in the bathroom while a nigga was shitting. Is that correct? Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> wow. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. She was in the bathroom with her. Is that the truth? No, it's I want to see the guy. I see the footage. It's me. No, this is <laughs> I'm like the fans, nigga. I'm like the fans, nigga. I know. Yeah, yes, you are the fans. <laughs> That's what I was seven years ago, my nigga. Alright, alright, cool. In, in your mind. In but your yeah, mind. man. See, drink champ start from the beginning is crazy, man. Right. See what has come to be. And you know, I, as a young, was there at no, the Kenny Anderson, right? Yeah, from yeah. my perspective, you know, I'm 22 years old. I've seen mm. all these men grow up on TV. Is this your Everything on TV. Beat? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. Once it I saw Slime well. interview Fat Joe, I knew Drink Champs was going to be legendary. I knew this mm. shit is going to have millions of subscribers. Mm. And it's going to keep coming, man. We're going to keep Instagram. coming. You hype right now. All right, true. DC to WIM. Oh. Born twin, born to win. Oh. Double oh. meaning, twin. Go ahead, yo. To hey. WIM, man. You're going to blow. You're going to blow. You're going to Yeah, you're going to blow. I love Drink Champs. Drink Champs. I mean, everybody that listening. You? He said you be I believe he did say that to me. That shit was a fucking moment <laughs> for me, man. He, he believed it. He, 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 he said he was what broke. What you believe? I guess I believe happens. it. Fuck it. I was so, his weed was that good. <laughs> Yo, but how he was just you and Snoop and, and it was a room for a hundred niggas. I don't know. Man. I, don't know man. I think I heard it. I don't know. Was this moment I mean, in your mind? Heard yeah, this moment was in my mind, I think. I, I guess that's what that message meant when he passed me the blunt. And not everybody yeah. can say Snoop pass him a blunt, you dig? Yo, no, he passed me the blunt. Pass me the blunt. Before you spoke my mind, Snoop said I'm going to beat somebody. Give us all your social medias and all that. Yeah, that's right. Thurston, shut your shit up. We are horrible at giving out our social media. My name is... Thurston Howard III or Victor De Jesus. Wait, no, no, that's no. not your social media, though. Jesus, that's not social, social media. Is it social media? My name is De Jesus. Oh, yeah, no, God. I believe that part, but yeah. what's the social media? What's your social media? What's your yeah. Instagram? What's your real what's your name? Is, is Victor Thurston Howard De Jesus. On you. Facebook. Wow. That's Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Then it's uh, Thurston Howard III. How can you find you, my nigga? That's all. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> my son name is Jesus De Jesus. I'm so. trying to change all my social media. I'm trying to change all my social media to just end. So everybody can just look. Just end. Nigga. You got Leave Twitter? Mm-hmm. This, 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 you it. got a Twitter? <laughs> My Twitter is Thurston Howell Third. Mm. Know what you, I mean? you got an Instagram? Instagram is Thurston Howell the Third. All my shit is spelled the same. T H I R S T I N H O W L T H E. The number three R D. All of my uh, social media contacts are by that name. It's not. Mm. It's not hard you got to a find. Website? Me. And you had the same number. Thurston Howell the Third dot, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> yeah. all, all my YouTube. Thurston you Howell the Third. Longest III. name in the world. Nah, you know what? Let me tell. Let me break it down, son. Oh shit, we gonna break down the longest name in the world. Yo, I taught a class today at Day College, right? On some hip hop history shit. They had you teaching the class? What's, the, yeah. what's this principal name? I need to talk we couldn't down. even do an ad. <laughs> we couldn't even do a live read. He's teaching class. Nah, nah, y'all yeah. could do live reads now because mm. it, everything is established over there. So, mm. um, it was basically based on Thurston Howard III, 
Mm. The fashion. class was about you? Nah, nah. That's very based, selfish. It was of you. based on fashion. You know I'm not a selfish person. I'm <laughs> not selfish at all. Mm. But it was based around the fashion of hip hop and how, how it was conceived and all that and how it was brought about. <laughs> so the main shit I seen was that the way shit got transformed. I'm going some Norby shit right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. And broken down. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. That's what it is, confusion. Uh, <laughs> it got weird for me. Okay, it, 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 I, don't even know, I don't even know where he's going. Because I, I even got lost. I had another drink. No, I'm okay. on drink time. I'm being honest. <laughs> you're you know, you're you're on, that's your drink time. That's your drink Shout out your, 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 your shit, man. What you got Star going on? Star Rocky You have to say, wait, hold on. Mr. Lee's interruptions and the hip Say it one more time. I want the people to get you Just come side, come side. Come side. Star Rock? Star Rock ENT is Star Rock Clothing. Star Rock. Clothing.com, you already know. Okay. And I don't we, even have one of your shirts. And, we, yo, uh, and we know we want to sh- do. We, the we're going to try you. to do this is for the people, man. This is for the people for real. We're going to try to do a, uh, a Drink Champs barbecue. Wow. We are going to do it. Around August 25th, correct? In Miami yeah. at 8 and In 9. Miami at the 8 and 9 store. Yeah, but we got to work out the details before we completely. Yeah, promote but it. just so y'all know, August 25th, so y'all hit us up for the details. We're going to have an email. Uh, we're gonna have a way to, that you guys can come out here and get a, like a special like cop a you shirt, know cop yeah you, you know uh, drink champs and we're gonna all be together uh, including like you know some of the guests that uh been on the, Thurston might be there. I previously of course Thurston well, will be there. there. Son, I uh, Mr. It, man. Lee, He's but down we're, gonna, the street. we're gonna do. We need um, to bring it to Grandma inspired. House. Inspired. Inspired. Yo, we, we can't go you don't know about grandma. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's house. crazy. Yeah, I, said, I remember, yo, Norby shot a video at my grandma house. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and that's I still ain't see the video. It was actually a Garcia a video. Yeah, right. but I ain't even no, seen it. It's my video. He yeah, chilling with my grandma. It wasn't the Garcia two gun salute? No, no, no. It was it was we was around there for that. But I when I it was I still ain't see that. I still ain't see that. But um so yeah, like I said, like hold on, that's spot is Right now. Right. Pop it's pop over there. Low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're gonna do um we're gonna have it people be out here. Uh so we're gonna be aiming for August twenty fifth, right. correct? August twenty fifth, and then because after that we're going to LA. We're definitely going to LA. August twenty seventh. Yeah, I'll be there on- the twenty sixth. I'm okay, early. yeah, I'm early. you're early, dude. So um, I got family out that's there. That's right. So and so if you guys wanted to say, uh, interview people in LA, hit us up or hit Nakia Hicks. We got a uh if we got, we got her email, yeah, but yeah. you know it's our publicist. But or you can hit us up at, up. at uh, drinkchamps at, a, at there gmail dot com. There you go. Or info at crazyhood dot com, but drinkchamps at gmail dot com as well. So I want to thank you, Thurston man. You a goddamn no, legend, you, man. You, I, this is my Yo, book. My brother, brother, my brother. Dang. Yeah, you can have that book. Okay, cool. No, hold on, hold don't, on, leave, don't leave your dog hanging. Don't leave your dog hanging. My bad. I fuck with you hard. Go ahead. You already know. Nah, this was a book that I autographed somebody and it wasn't even them. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all. The, but for all Meek the books Mill? are gone. Oh, shit. It's me. Oh, Meek, oh, nah, Meek nah. For, for me, for Far Rock. Rock. It wasn't oh, okay. even me it's when a I did nigga. it. I don't feel bad. Nah, he the truth, though. He the <laughs> okay. truth. He a legend and all that, but it wasn't even him, but right. he still deserved this book. So if we run right. into him getting nah, you this know what? book, and I'm going to give yeah. you a new one. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. because yeah, they yeah. sold out. i give you a new one. No, but I'm going to give you this book. sure? So just so you could peep it. You know what I mean? But as soon as I get the next batch, I'll give you a Fresh, a fresh one. Good deal. Just I'll so be high though, so remember And that. I don't even got a book. This is right. the only book in existence. They on eBay for a thousand dollars. Look for yourself. So if you got it for a thousand dollars, you can sell it. Hold on. <laughs> if you can sell it for a thousand dollars, he no, told me to sell my book. I'm right. selling right. my sell book. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you no more. I got hip hop memorabilia. This is going right in there. I'm gonna have to reprint it all. Just sell. If you can get a thousand. Get uh, a thousand. Let's go out, have some fun. For some and reason, I'll give you another one. Nah, is Jim, is, is Tony Touch in here? I feel like Tony Touch is in here somewhere. Nah, he's not in there. Nah, he but Tony's my brother, man. He's right. another one that represents and our he might flag, our body. And what other, what other rappers before we get out of here? Is like as like low life. Or so Dot X, Sean, is Sean Price, Sean Price, it, yeah. been my brother since. Before and any of this shit happened, you said, who Sadat, Sadat is my brother. You're not. Nah, Sadat, Sadat, Sadat right. has been a major component to our low life existence globally. Mm. Wow. wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Back in the days with Brand Nubian. Right. No, from the 2000 era. He okay. always represented the culture without representing low life, but mm. within the 2000 era, he represented low life. Because y'all was he, murdering niggas at one point, right? That was, that's true, right? Like it was, <laughs> I guess, we, we was, we, that's we was surviving. That's yeah, we were surviving. Oh, nah, but we were surviving. It that's was, right, that's right, you know, what I mean, right. like we we, we yeah, don't yeah, acknowledge baby. ignorance though. Yeah. The ignorance shit is real. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
No, we, we can't glorify we can't talk about that, that all seven years. just to know that because... <laughs> Let's you know change what? the subject. I'm on We take shots. We don't shoot. Yeah. Oh, no, yo, we ain't take one yeah. shot tonight. Yeah. I ain't see Nori yeah. take a shot. That's I ain't right. see you take a shot. That's That's right. Right. I ain't see That's nobody right. take That's a shot. Right. That's right. You gotta, the shots you gotta now. avoid the oh, danger. You drank all the fucking uh, <laughs> Nah, I got another uh, bottle. Remember, you gave uh, me a bottle. Oh. He brought your bottle. You didn't bring his book. What's going on here? Who? I, gave I, gave him him book. I, I gave him a book. I gave him a book. I gave him a bottle. And here. I just uh, gave you a book. Mm, that's right. I'm gonna put right, that. Your galito here. You put that out. I'm gonna be very careful with that. All right, so we're gonna take it out of here, man. Drink chest. Nah, we ain't getting our shots yet. Yeah, y'all can get your shots, man. I gotta go to the doctor in the morning. I can't do that. All right, make some noise. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna take these shots. Take the shots, though. Hell yeah. Nah, you take the shots. So we we take a shot after the break.